we present a system that allows bringing stroke-based 3D paintings like this one to life. Our starting point is Overcoat, which lets an artist create static 3D paintings by embedding paint strokes in 3D space. The embedding process is guided by proxy geometry created in an external 3D modeling tool. We provide tools for the artist to rig and animate these paint strokes. Instead of using static proxy geometry like Overcoat, we create a link to Maya, which allows the proxy geometry to be controlled with a Maya rig. The artist can paint the character in any pose, and strokes are automatically attached to the surface and mapped to other poses. Stroke points that do not lie on the surface, as with the blue stroke here, are attached to their respective closest points on the proxy geometry. This approach allows basic stroke animation to be created quickly, but is limited to the motion present in the proxy geometry. To allow more control over stroke animation, we provide a mechanism for configuration space keyframing. Here, a smudge tool is used to deform the eyebrow in the angry pose. The user sets a configuration space keyframe so that whenever the dog is angry, our system interpolates the eyebrow stroke positions and opacity from this keyframe. We also allow the artist to set conventional keyframes with respect to the animation timeline. Such temporal keyframes will override the configuration space keyframes. Here we illustrate the effects achieved using configuration space keyframing. For example, the hair, eye, and cheek motions are not present in the proxy geometry animation. Our system enables the animation of 3D paintings in different styles. For instance, this example is painted in a somewhat tighter style. Configuration space keyframing was used for the fish spikes, the eye movement, and the highlights under the eyes. Here's an example painted in a more classic style over a motion captured animation. For this sequence, configuration space keyframing was used to fix the leg penetrating the skirt and skinning artifacts in the proxy geometry at the shoulders. Temporal keyframing was used to create the skirt twirl effect. The configuration space used for keyframing can include arbitrary variables, not just pose. In this experiment, we keyed paint strokes to a variable that represents a light position to obtain a painterly lighting effect. The main ingredient in configuration space keyframing is a multidimensional interpolation scheme. Keyframes are points in configuration space, which in this example is defined by the X and Y coordinates of the bomb. The strokes on the face are interpolated from the keyframes near the current configuration. This figure shows each keyframe at the corresponding bomb position. Other interpolation methods can be used, but they have undesirable properties. For example, 
radial basis functions with the Gaussian kernel produce jerky motions if the kernel is too small, and overshoot the keyframes if the kernel is too large. While anticipation and follow-through are often desirable in animation, they should be controlled by the artist rather than be a byproduct of the interpolation method. Linear moving least squares interpolation does not cleanly separate configuration space dimensions, producing eyebrow motion when the mouth is moved.